hand if you have ever had a girl say something bad about you behind your back. Open your eyes. Now, close your eyes again. And this time, I want you to raise your hand if you have ever said anything about a friend behind her back. Open them. Uh, it's been some girl on girl crime here. Okay, so what we can do today is a couple exercises to help you express your anger in a healthy way. Uh, let's start over here. Miss Norbury had us confront each other directly about the things that were bothering us. And it seems like every clique had its own problems. You've been acting really stuck up ever since you switched to short fielder, and Don agrees with me. Don, don't drag me into this. I'm pitching tomorrow. I saw my young cat without my eye. My chicken can be my tongue and chat down your home time my. Okay. Good. Can I just say that we don't have a click problem at this school? And some of us shouldn't have to take this workshop because some of us are just victims in the situation? That's probably true. How many of you have ever felt personally victimized by Regina George? Okay, who's next? Who's next? Um, hmm. Katie, do you have anything you want to own up to? Yes. No. You never made up a rumor about anybody? Just that you sell drugs. No. Nothing you want to apologize for? I couldn't apologize to Miss Norbury without getting blamed for the whole burn book. No. I'm really disappointed in you, Katie. Okay, so we're all here because of this book, right? Well, I don't know who wrote this book, but you all have got to stop calling each other sluts and whores. It just makes it okay for guys to call you sluts and whores. Who here has ever been called a slut? Okay, everybody up. Miss Norbury had us write out apologies to people that we'd hurt in our lives. Alyssa, I'm sorry I called you a gap tooth bitch. It's not your fault you're so gap tooth. Gretchen, I'm sorry I laughed at you that time you got diarrhea at Barnes and Noble. And I'm sorry I told everyone about it. And I'm sorry for repeating it now. Huh? Laura, I don't hate you because you're fat. You're fat because I hate you. I just wish we could all get along like we used to in middle school. I wish that I could bake a cake made out of rainbows and smiles and we'd all eat be happy. She doesn't even go here. Do you even go to this school? No. I just have a lot of feelings. Okay, go home. Sure, I think you're doing a great job. Thanks, I feel like I'm getting I'm sorry that people are so jealous of me, but I can't help it that I'm popular. Oh my God! Oh, okay, walk it off. Walk it off. Okay. Oh. They're okay. They're okay. Oh boy. Okay, who's next? Who's next? Keep it going. Oh my God, it's her dream come true, diving into a big pile of girls. <laughs> okay, yeah, um, I've got an apology. So, I have this friend who is a new student this year, and I convinced her that it would be fun to mess up Regina George's life. So, I had her pretend to be friends with Regina, and then she would come to my house after and we would just laugh about all the dumb stuff Regina said. And uh, we gave her these candy bar things that would make her gain weight. <laughs> and we turned her best friends against her. And then, uh, oh yeah, Katie, you know my friend Katie, she, uh, she made out with Regina's boyfriend and then convinced him to break up with her. Oh God, and we, we gave you foot cream instead of face wash. Oh God, I am so sorry, Regina. Really, I, I don't know why I did it. I guess it's probably because I've got a big lesbian crush on you. Suck all that! Regina! 
Regina, wait. I didn't mean for that to happen. To find out that everyone hates me, I don't care. Regina, please. Regina, stop. Ow! Do you know what everyone says about you? They say that you're a homeschooled jungle freak who's a less hot version of me. Yeah. So don't try to act so innocent. You can take that fake apology and shove it right up your hairy... <laughs> And that's how Regina George died. No, I'm totally kidding. But she did get hurt. Some girls say they saw her head go all the way around. But that's just a rumor. Some people swear they saw me push her in front of the bus. That was an even worse rumor. Everybody done? No. Mom, I didn't do it. I don't know what to believe anymore. Mom, believe me, I'm your daughter. Why are my tribal vases under the sink? Huh? My tribal vases? Why were they under the sink? I don't know. This is the fertility vase of the Ndebele tribe. Does that mean anything to you? No. Who are you? Great. All my friends hate me, and now my mom hates me. Your mom does not hate you. She's afraid of you. I don't know. Maybe we mainstream schooled you too soon. Maybe you should come back and be homeschooled again for a while. No. Only thing worse than going back would be.